With the territory when it comes to firefighting, but our Arizona summers, they add another layer of danger to Valley crews, which is why you'll find extra resources here dedicated to keeping them safe when they are out there battling those flames. No Holani Graf giving us an up close look at the rehab truck in Mesa. So here's what fire crews are already up against. Their gear alone weighs about 35 pounds. Add the air packs, now we're up to 75 pounds. Then they fight a fire where temperatures can go to 700 degrees. When they come outside to take a break, 120 degree sun offers no relief. So that's where the rehab truck comes in. It's a dedicated unit sent to every major fire scene, equipped with more ice, water, and sports drinks than they can carry on the regular fire trucks. Tents pop up for shade, misters go on, seats are set up so that crews can get a true break when they've just given it their all, no matter where they are. Because if you have a fire in the middle of a junkyard or out in the middle of anywhere, uh, we need to be able to provide our own shade. Plus, the EMTs working the rehab truck check everyone's vitals. No signs of heat stroke, a real threat. If you inhibit the ability to be able to to sweat and to cool down and your body keeps working, then your body's thermostat system can shut down because that's when the IVs come out, which are also kept on ice. I'm already sweating and all I've done is talk to you. Here's the really cool thing. Thanks to shared resources, you might actually see these rehab trucks at other incidents, not just in Mesa, but around the valley in Mesa. I'm no Graf, ABC 15 Arizona. Excellent look there. No, hey, thanks for explaining.